Hello and welcome to another tutorial set. My name is David Ward and in this tutorial set we're going to be creating a World War II era Jeep. So we're going to do some vehicle creation here and uh, before we get into the actual modeling let's just look into the Jeep a little bit. Here on Wikipedia uh, the origin of the name Jeep there's been a couple of uh, different um, theories on the origin. One is that uh, as you can see here uh, the, the Jeep was originally known as government purposes or general purposes, so uh, the GP initials, so people just kind of blurred it together and just said GP, and then it eventually became Jeep. Or there's another theory that Arlie Ermey, the the rough and tumble uh, um, drill instructor from Full Metal Jacket, uh, he disputes that on his show Mail Call and said that uh, it was basically named after Eugene the Jeep, the character from the Popeye comic strip and cartoon. So, um, that one might be the more believable one, but in any case, they both sound logical to me. In any case, let's uh, let's jump over to a website called carblueprints.narod.ru. And I did a search for Willys over in the search here, and it came up with um, all the different version of Willys. And Willys, you might be wondering what Willys is. That's the version of Jeep from the uh, the World War II era. It was originally named, um, originally called the uh, Willys um, um, MB vehicle here. Um, World War II Jeeps, blah blah blah. Their government. In any case, they they weren't called Jeeps in the beginning. They were called Willys um, recreational, or not recreational, but uh, Willys overland vehicles. So. Um, we still refer to them to Jeeps. In any case, let's. we found uh, uh, the Willys Jeep, and I believe it's the third link here. I've gone ahead and opened it up. Um, I guess i got two windows there. Excuse me, this blueprint right here. So you can see we have a nice view of the driver side, the top, the passenger side, uh, the front and the back, and then the little shovel area here under the driver door, and then kind of the suspension, excuse me, under the, uh, probably under the front there. So we don't really need, I guess we might use this, but we only really need uh, these views of the vehicle. So I'm going to save this image. And I was playing with this earlier, so I've got went ahead and saved it on here. And it'd be better to have a, a JPEG version of it, but that's not a big deal. We'll go ahead and save that. I'm going to go ahead and replace that since I already had it. And we'll open up Photoshop now. And I'm going to take this um, blueprint into Photoshop. I'm going to slice it up so we have multiple views. Now you don't have to do this, but it makes it a lot easier. So I'm going to grab my crop tool and I'm just going to click and drag and we're going to cut out the side here. I'm going to shift save this as. I'm going to go ahead and actually before we do it, let's back up a little bit. Since it was a, a GIF, it's going to have um, the indexed color mode. So let's change that to RGB color and, and that'll make it easier to turn into a JPEG. So again, go ahead and crop that one save it as a JPEG, if I can grab the right format, there we go, and we'll call this one Jeep uh, Left, so it'll be the left left side, so we'll save that, and probably don't need a m too big of an image, because it's just for reference, and we'll say, I'll just say 8 there, okay, I'm going to undo that, I'm going to grab the top view, move that a little bit there, there we go, Save that as. Go ahead and select this one so I can just rename it a little bit. Say Jeep Top. Save. Okay. Eight again. Okay. Undo. And then we'll do the left side. And we can see part of the other image in there, but that's no big deal. We'll just leave it there. Save this one as Jeep. We'll call this one Jeep Right. And save. Undo that. Get the front. You can see it only had one mirror on the driver's side, so when we get to modeling, we'll only model the body of the Jeep and then all the asymmetrical things like the steering wheel, the tire on the back, the gas can on the back, and, the, and then the rearview mirror right here. We'll, we'll do that afterwards. So go ahead and save this. And this will be Jeep front. Okay. Maybe you might be thinking that's kind of small, but uh, we're looking at 33.3% here. So if I zoomed into 100%, you can see it's it's quite big enough to to get a good reference. So 
Let me go ahead and zoom back out so we can see what we're doing. Undo that, and finally, we will get the rear. Okay, so we'll go ahead and crop that and save it as Jeep Rear. Okay, save. And save. Okay, so we'll go ahead and minimize Photoshop there, bring back Blender. And now there's a way to bring all those images that we just made into our view. You know, if we hit the one button, we're looking at the front view, um, but we can't see the grid. That's because we're in perspective view. Switch to orthographic view. We can see the grid back there. And then once we get our images loaded, we'll be able to see those in our, as our reference. So the way we do that is over here in your properties tab. If you don't have that open, you just hit the end button. We'll scroll down here all the way to background images. Go ahead and check that box. Expand that window. We're going to add an image. So we go open. And we're going to go to my Blender files here, intro to 3D vehicle. And it's going to be the Jeep front because we're on the front window. And you can see it loads it right in there. And you can change the size of it and the position of it if you like. Those are all options right here. So I want to say let's move it on the y-axis until the, the tires are on the red line. So about right there. It looks like it's a little rotated, so it would be... It'd be good to have that perfectly straight, but I think we'll be able to work with it as is. We'll just leave it like that. The size right now is set to 5, and remember from uh, the first tutorial set, each one of these grid pattern, grid squares is roughly 1 yard, so um, our Jeep is not going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 times 3. Uh, it's not going to be 24 feet wide, so let's scale that down. Maybe, let's see what one looks like. That's a little, well, that's actually probably more accurate. It's about six feet wide. So uh, we'll, we'll do it, we'll put it there. We'll put it at size one, then obviously we'll need to bring this back down. So let's go ahead and hide our default cube so we can see where our background image is going to be. Okay, so where'd it go? I think I scrolled too far down. Okay, there we go. So we'll bump that down, save right at 1.0 is about right. So we'll save that. Um, okay, well I didn't save it. Let me go ahead and save it. Save as. And I'm going to do it in the same folder. We'll call this one Jeep underscore. I like to name them sequentially when I'm starting off Jeep01. Okay, so we got our front view. Now we want the side view um, and then the back view and top view and all that. But we don't want this front view to show up in all of those views too because if we hit the three button to go to our side view, you can see we're still looking at the front and that's just not going to work. So let's go back to our front view and we'll change the axis right here. Right now it's showing all views. So what we want to say is front. So it's only going to show this background image on the front layer. So if I go to the side view, we don't see it anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and collapse that front image. Go ahead and add a new one. And we'll go ahead and open up. Uh, let's just go ahead and go down the list here. We'll say left. Open that. And the size of this one will go back down to uh, the size of one, just like the other. It's going to be about six feet long. That's probably not right. It needs to probably be, I'd say, closer to eight feet. So we'll bump that up a little bit. And we can kind of match it up once we get it arranged. So let's bump it up above that green line this time. It's a base. And uh, we'll go to our front view, one. So we can see, uh, since we still have the side view turned on, um, we can still see it superimposed, which is good at this point because we want to be able to match it up. So if we scale the size up a little bit until the bottom of the tires are even with the bottom of the tires in the front view and then the top of the windshield is even with the top in the, in the front view. So we'll do that a little bit more, maybe about right there. Yeah, so that'll work. Okay, so now we need to tell this one to only be in the left view. So we'll do that. Now, we can't see it in the front view, but if we go to our side view, is that the right view? Yeah, okay. So, yeah. So, we, I guess we need to tell it the right view, the right camera. It's going to be the left side of the Jeep, but the right side of the scene. So, if we hit Control-3, actually, the 3 button will work. When we do the other side, well, it'll be Control-3 for the other side. Okay. So, just remember, this left side of the Jeep is going to be on the right side of the scene because it's facing us. Okay, so there we go. Go ahead and minimize that one. Add another one. Just do this all the way down. Um, like I said, going down the list, we'll just go ahead and grab the rear one. Okay, and 
go to our front view again so we can actually match it up again with the, the front view just like we did on the side scale that way down let's go ahead and just type in two and that's a little bit too big we'll probably just be able to use one on this one because that's about the same dimensions as the front image so let's just go ahead and bump that up maybe 0.9 a little too less, a little too few, 0.95, slightly too much, let's try 0.94, there we go. And I can see that the bottoms of the tires are matched up, but the windshield is not quite matching the top, so we need to make it a little bit bigger, so let's say 1.1, that's going to be too big, so we'll say 1.05, and that's still going to be too big, 1.03, or 2.5, there we go, maybe that'll be about right. We'll bump that up a little bit. 1.0, almost there. It's real important to get these as close as you can because once you start modeling, it'll match in one spot, and then you go to a different view and it won't match. So you get, you'll be flipping back and forth trying to get it to match, and it just it'll just be frustrating. So uh, save you a little bit of frustration there. So let's make this a little bit bigger, just a little bit. 1.03, I think. And then we'll drop it down to 0.99. See what that looks like? A little bit more, 0.98. And that looks about right. But let's go ahead and knock it over to the left a little bit because we want the tires to line up. So we'll bump that a little too much. Negative 0.05. Almost there, 0.055. There we go. That looks pretty good. Okay, so now I'll go ahead and tell this one to be only on the back. Okay, so we got our front view our side view and our control one, our rear view. So kind of get an idea of what this is going to look like. All right, so now let's go ahead and collapse that one. I'm going to go ahead and save this. Getting those, all those lined up just right can be a lot of work, so you want to make sure you save them as you go. So we'll go ahead and open up the right side of the Jeep, which will be our left view, remember? So let's go ahead and just see if we can just match the settings from the left side here. And it's going to be 2.0 and 2.1. So let's set that to 2.0 and 2.1. And maybe if we go to our control three or side view, looks like it's matched up pretty well. Um, if I bump it out, okay. So I'm not. Oopsie. I undid. Let me redo. Okay, I guess I just uh, accidentally deleted it, so there we go. So it was, uh, what, 1.5? That's not right. Let's go back here. Front, left, rear, right. Okay. So let's go to our right view. There we go. That'll be, now we'll be able to set it up a little easier. Okay, so 2.0, and that looks about right vertically. Um... Do we not have a windscreen, a windshield on the on the left side? Yeah, we do. There it is. And then this one, maybe we don't have one on the left side. Yeah, there's no windshield here, so we can't match it up on the windshield. We'll have to match it up on the top of the the uh, the hood area here. So we'll go ahead and turn that back on, and we'll match it up the bottom of the tires. Those look pretty close. Um, let's move it to the side or I guess backwards, so our hoods can match up. That looks pretty close. So let's get that uh, evened out there. About like, let's get the tires evened up. So I guess it's slightly different size. The front tire looks pretty good, but the back tire is not. So let's, let's see, negative 0.25. Oh, that's way too big. Negative 0.25. There we go. Okay, that's pretty close. We'll say, we'll call that one good. Okay, so go ahead and set this to be the, uh, I guess, the left view. So we go one, front view, three, left view of the Jeep, right view of the scene, control one for the rear, control three for the other side. So we're just kind of circling one, three, one, three, or control three. There we go. I think, I think that'll work. Okay, so now we just have the top to add. So we'll collapse that one. Come up here, add one more image, open, and the top. Now we don't have one for the bottom, but that's okay because we're not going to be making the, the drive chain or any drive train or anything like that. Now one thing I forgot to do, um, you can't rotate your image in here. 
Um, so we'll have to go back into Photoshop and and rotate it around. So let's jump back in here and we'll go ahead and open up that top view. Okay, and we're gonna rotate this 90 degrees counterclockwise. So there we go. So let's go ahead and save that one. We'll just save it. Okay, and it save it back in here. And then if we come in here and hit the little refresh button beside our path to our image, it'll reload it there. So now we can let's uh, resize it down to let's just try one again. Maybe match it up with that front image. We'll have to do it via the sides. So let's bump it up to where we can actually kind of get a good idea of what we're doing. It's almost right. The tires are almost lined up. So let's make that slightly bigger, maybe 1.1. A little too big. 1.05. Uh, that'll probably work. I think I think that'll that'll work. So let's um, we'll we'll center it up on the vertical axis um, because if we go to our side view, um, you could see that if I go to our side view, it's pretty it's centered up basically over the steering wheel, so it's right behind like where the horn button would be so that looks about the same um, as far as the this this direction goes lined up so let's go ahead and turn that Jeep one to only the top view so now if we go to seven we'll see our top side front rear left side okay so we have all of our our uh, reference images set up so let's go ahead and save that um, okay so we can only see them, like I mentioned in the beginning, we can only see it in the orthographic view in one of the perspectives. Front, you know, the, the six sides of the cube, basically. Front, left, right, top, bottom, and, and back. We can't see it if we go into perspective view. So, uh, once we start actually modeling uh, the, the, uh, the, the, the Jeep there, we'll be able to see it, but we'll only be able to see the guides if we go into our, our views. So. Uh, that's actually 17 minutes in. I'm going to go ahead and call that done for this part one. And then in part two, we'll go ahead and start modeling. So that's going to be it. Like I said, for part one, I'll see you in part two.